once again at the Ibero Star Grand Pariso. Exactly. See, in Riviera Maya, outside of Cancun, and we're here with Chef Olivia and Chef Juan Carlos. We're making two very popular dishes down here in the That's Cancun right. Riviera Maya area. Oh, Mexico, yes. Mexico, Old right? Mexico. This is very popular. We're making guacamole and ceviche. That's right. Good light foods. So yes, when it's hot and muggy like it is today. Right, it's perfect for perfect. the location. Yes. All right, what are we making first, nice. Chef Olivia? Okay, we're gonna make first. We're gonna start with the guacamole. So yep. this is very simple. It's just avocado. Tomato, onion, pa uh, cilantro, cilantro, chile serrano, sí. garlic, salt, black pepper, lime juice. That's a volcanic stone that is from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So what is he's going to do, he's going to mash them, all of them. Mm -hmm. For this recipe, we're going to use about eight avocados. Okay. So now this is, everyone in, in Los Angeles where I live, every Mexican restaurant has their own kind of guacamole. Right, Is right. this a Yucatan guacamole? Is this your recipe? Is this Juan no. Carlos's recipe? No, this is from the South part of Mexico, which is like Mexico City, okay. that area. All right. Because you can do many, many types. Right. Uh, we have with fruits. There is also another recipe where they, instead of uh, mashing the avocado, they chop it up and right. they just put all the ingredients together. But this is the most popular way to, okay. to have it. This is nicer. So we don't need that much. And as you can see, no seeds, only the skin. So just the diced tomatoes. Yes. So what he's putting around is probably about five tablespoons mm -hmm. of tomato. Okay. And he's gonna do onion. Mm. You can use this onion, then another, the same amount of tomatoes, same amount of onions. Okay. There Gives it a little sweetness, a yes. little onionness. Right. And half of amount of cilantro. Sí. Put everything together. Now here at the Ibero Star, when people order this, do you mix it at their table? No, we have it already mixed, so it's easier. Ah, don't forget the peat. We have to take the peat, And then, yeah. So Think. we put that in there? Yes. That keeps it from getting all brown and gooey, so that'll keep. Yes, and Although, then something this tasty probably doesn't last very long, right? Yeah, especially with this weather. Ugh. Okay, so now to decorate, you can use cheese, mm. fresh cheese. This one is a Mexican cheese, which is called cotija. But I guess at home you can use a little bit of uh, feta cheese or Parmesan. Can I try some? Yes. Yes, please, go ahead. Let's see how this goes. Bueno. <laughs> Thank you. Very I good. Guess. As you can see, it's a little hot and muggy today, and there's nothing better on a hot and muggy day in Mexico than delicious ceviche. Sa ceviche. Si. And that is that's like a like a seafood, yeah, salsa. seafood salad. Salad. Seafood salad. So for that we have two different ingredients. Okay. We're gonna use fish, which is grouper, right? And then we're gonna use shrimp. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. All right. How do we start? So then we're gonna put the shrimps. Okay. And the ceviche. This is already pre-cooked. So the shrimps are done. Yeah, the shrimps are done. They're peeled and cut. They're peeled and then a little bit. You when you boil it, you can put a little bit of salt, bay leaf, uh, garlic, onion. So you wanna make a nice broth. With the fish, you you just poach the fish. Mm -hmm. And that's how you can make it. So it's not raw. It's not raw. They're cooked and ready to go. So that's the easiest way. Lime juice. And all these things are things that have been traditionally available here on the Yucatan forever, yes, right? Yes, yes. Limes, um, mariscos. Lime. Mariscos, so that's that's nice. Okay. So we're gonna put mix it together. Uh-huh. So you get a very nice lime flavor. Now you are from here in the Yucatan, Olivia? No, I'm from Mexico City. Okay. But I've been here for many years. And Juan Carlos, you're from Spain. Uh, Murcia. Do Murcia. They, <laughs> do they have uh, do they make ceviche in Spain? Uh, no. So this is a new world dish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All our recipes, mostly when they are fresh, we always use tomato and onions and cilantro. It's nice. So this is like a seafood salad. Very light. So okay. we're gonna add also the onion. We're gonna use purple onion because purple, I mean, the red onion has more flavor. See. Sí. And it looks prettier. Yes, that's right. Cilantro. Sí. 
And these are all, th th this, the, the ceviche and the guacamole, things that people can make easily at home, right? Exactly. It's just a matter so of just cutting stuff up. We're gonna add also our chile serrano. Mm. You can take the seeds out of the chile if you wish, and not so spicy, because the seeds, that's what it makes it spicy. Right, exactly. Also, we're gonna add some garlic and olive oil. Beautiful. Yes. A little more, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little more. There we go, perfect. And then salt and pepper. May I try it? Please. With a tortilla chip? Be my guest. All right. Mmm. Definitely taste the lime. Yes, the lime. A little lime. bit of the chili there. Right. Mmm. That's perfect combination. Mmm. -hmm. Not gonna fill you up, but it's delicious. Nice and cold on a muggy, hot day. It's exactly what you want. Chef Juan Carlos, muchas gracias. Chef Olivia, muchas gracias. Thank you very much for coming. We've been here at the Iberia Star Grand Paradiso in uh, Riviera Maya, enjoying the guacamole, enjoying the ceviche. Now we are going to enjoy the pool. Okay. Adios. Adios. That's really good. It's fantastical. <laughs>